Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Poco X3 Pro, also known as YU and Bhima. Now this particular ROM is something for which a lot of our subscribers have been requesting since a long time and I recently got in touch with the developer and I figured let's give this a try. Now today we are trying Gladiator OS Ragnar, that is the 2021 eSports edition. Now this is an older build because you remember recently we had a problem with the MIA 12.5 firmware. So I've tried an old build, I've been using it since yesterday, I've played a couple of games on it and I'll share my opinions on this. But before we get into the details, if you like watching custom ROM stuff every single day, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really, really motivates us. If you like chatting with like-minded people who have similar devices, join us on Telegram. We are very active on Instagram as well. Facebook and Twitter is also there. You can join us there. And last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so first things first, what do we have here? We have Gladiator OS eSports edition based on Android 11. And as you can see, we have a ton of customization here. But let's have a look at the post. This was actually updated on the 12th of October 2021. And if you have a look at the change log over here, you will see that it says based on 12.0.0. For EU so it is a safe ROM to flash you don't have to worry about breaking right now you will see that the customization and the change log is pretty significant but I'll quickly read this out to you so it says new gladiator OS boot animation vendor 12.0.4 decrypted dynamic volume center increase more performance and battery backup and RAM management if they manage to do it it's really good 4.0 game turbo, new UI sounds, new icon animation pack, UI style, 90 FPS Ultra HD unlocked in PUBG or BGMI, Kim C's 929 screen recorder, no ads as default, that's really good for people who want to use screen recording for their gaming YouTube channels and stuff. Updated MIUI camera, improvements to the quality of photos in MIUI camera, less aggressive noise reduction, I have experienced this. 12.5 power menu, fixed abnormal fluctuations of sound system, tweaked CPU S-Tune boost, Tweaked schedulers, added some battery savings doses, some UI UX improvements, tweaked CPU governors and CPU sets, new gaming tweaks, system apps also updated, stock kernel is puff, pre-rooted, safety net passes by default, fixed lock screen problem when the notification bar is pulled down, removed useless apps, MIUI 13 file manager, system optimized RAM management, bugs, you guys tell me, right? Now, you will tell me that you noticed a stutter there, even I did, but trust me, that is not exactly a stutter. Let's have a look over here. So if you go to Telegram, and if you go to settings, there you go, right? So I have been using this ROM since yesterday. I flashed it, I've set up all the applications I use, as you can see over here. There are a ton of applications, some of them which I don't really want, but nonetheless, I wanted to use this as a personal device and give you guys a true opinion if you should consider flashing this or not, right? Now, let's actually go to settings over here. And if you go to Gladiator OS, you go to all specifications. It has the RAM, the octa-core processor specification. This, of course, is based on Android 11, as you can see over here. Right, so the CAD game is enabled. The security update is the 1st of March 2021. Now, because this is based on a very old firmware, that is 12.0.4, that is the reason your security patch is old. I think the Gladiator OS team have released newer versions which are based on the safe MIUI 12 ROMs. So that is there. You can go ahead and try those as well. Now, moving on, how does this settings menu look? That is what we'll talk about first and then we will talk about the UI and other things. So if you go to security status over here, you will see that the security update is the 1st of March. Google Play Protect is there. You do have the Google Play system update. As you can see over here, it says checking for system update. Your device is up to date. Right, then you have SIM cards and mobile networks in which you don't really have a lot of customization, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connection and sharing. And then you have lock screen. Now under lock screen, you have all the usual MIUI 12 features available. Now, one thing that you will notice the moment you boot into this particular ROM is that it is extremely smooth. Now I do know that I've gone to display 
I've gone to refresh rate and I've enabled 120 hertz, but it works butter smooth on 60 hertz as well. But it's a treat to use on 120 hertz is what I would say. Trust me, it works really, really well. So in lock screen, you have the usual MIUI 12 features in display as well. You do have all your usual features. You have the new control center over here. You can show the connect connection speed and all the other things over here. Battery percentage next to the icon. You can make those changes. You have lock screen customizations, full screen display. You have themes in which you have a ton of different themes available. As you can see, these are the themes that are available and you can download in flash or install additional themes as well. In password and security, fingerprint unlock and face unlock is working absolutely fine. Screen time and in special features, under MIUI Labs, you have AI preloading, you have floating windows, which works absolutely fine. You have the video toolbox and then you have the game turbo 4.0, which I have been using and the performance has been pretty decent. Now, let's talk about the ROM first, right? The moment you boot into this particular ROM, you will see that the theme is completely different. The UI looks slightly different and the icon sets over here in the control center also look a little different in a good way, not in a bad way right and to the left of course you do have your app vault which you can then go ahead and change to the google feed and the moment you set it to google discover you will see that google discover will appear to your left right as you can see over here it is stuttering for now because it's loading for the first time all right so there is some stutter in the google feed which is really really weird because if you go over here and you directly go to google you will see that it works absolutely fine and I have updated all the system applications so I don't really see a reason why this should be lagging like this but I'm pretty sure that's an easy fix or maybe if I use it for some time the fix will be there and there won't be a major major issue even if you talk about the launcher you go to settings this is the launcher 2.2 that is the Poco launcher now one thing that you get with the Poco launcher is you will miss out on the app icon animations they are broken no matter what you do they are broken so the default launcher is Poco launcher so I'm pretty sure if the latest versions of Gladiator OS have MIUI launcher or system launcher that will be working much much better now one thing to note over here the camera is working absolutely fine as expected from a MIUI 12 based ROMs uh, it doesn't really have any additional features but the picture quality seems to be pretty decent as you can see over here uh, in the normal stock MIUI ROM you would start seeing noise grain over here if you zoom in this much so the picture quality yes I would agree with them it is much much better and overall the UI smoothness the UI fluidity is just amazing and they did mention that they are using a different screen recorder right so let's go ahead and look for the screen recorder over here there you go this is the screen recorder that is available if you go to settings over here you will see that you do have a ton of options over here and i've tried internal and external audio so the screen recording works absolutely fine now all in all if you talk about gladiator os this is a miui based rom which is extremely smooth it works really really well the battery backup and charging for me has been pretty decent so it does support the 33 watt fast charger i've not had any issues with the fast charging if you talk about battery and performance over here, you will see that it has been active for 7 hours and 28 minutes. I have been using BGMI and the screen on time has been almost 2 hours. We are still at 69%. So that should give us 6 hours of you know medium to heavy usage which is really really neat. You don't really get the performance toggle over here. As you can see that particular option is missing. But the moment you open any particular game, you will have the new game turbo kicking in. For example, as you can see over here, this is the new game turbo. It is running in the performance mode. So we will talk about the benchmark numbers in a bit. But first, you do have root available. So you'll have to update the Majisk app and then use Majisk Hide to get safety net to pass. So as you can see over here, safety net is passing. And even if you go to the Google Play Store, you will see that the device is Play Store certified. So that is really neat as well. So basically you should not have any problems with your banking applications at all even widevine l1 is working fine so safety net passes you do get the complete stock miui experience with better smoothness and on a smooth safe miui 12 firmware now what about gaming you will ask so if you launch bgmi 
you will see that the game turbo kicks in and by default this rom as promised is supporting 90 hertz and 90 fps now as this is a gaming rom this will get a dedicated gaming review but if you ask me should you install this for gaming or hardcore gaming well what i would suggest is if you really really want miui this is the rom to go for because it creates a good balance between you know gaming and day-to-day -day usage as you can see over here if you go to settings you go to graphics you go to smooth you do have 90 fps balanced you have extreme so you do have 90 fps gaming the aftermarket screen recorder works great all the miui features are present now let's go ahead and quickly talk about the benchmark numbers and first of them is going to be the cpu throttle test now as you can see over here cpu throttled to 92 percent of its max performance average score is 183 520 gips so that is neat and if you go further and check geekbench over here so historical scores 721 single core 2676 multi core a little low than expected but if you further go to antutu benchmark over here 58832 so you know more than average scores not really something very very high and sometimes right now the device is lagging i'm surprised why that is exactly happening but in the last 12 hours that i've been using it my experience has been flawless and gladiator os esports edition is doing a really really great job now next week or next to next week i will try one of their latest versions of the rom and tell you how good or bad the gaming is for now my first review or the initial review of gladiator os is really really good you can definitely give it a try a lot of additional features and most of them are working absolutely fine let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.